Hey, hello, and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today is Q&A day, Q&A Monday. I hope you are doing well. Um, I am, uh, I'm doing well myself. I've got my kiddos today because it's President's Day in the U.S., and we celebrate past and present and still living uh, presidents, so... <laughs> Anyway, that's what's going on in the U.S. And uh, join me and tell me where you're from, where you live. Uh, again, uh, it is uh, this is Good Knit Kisses, and I'm Kristen Mangus, and I do uh, tutorials on YouTube for knitting, crochet, and loom knitting. I also do Facebook Live tutorials every now and then, and I'm uh, glad to have you. So thanks for hopping on today, and... Um, I'm just happy to see you. So this is kind of a relaxed day. This is just Q&A. So if you had questions and, uh, you know, something about um, me or about my YouTube videos or um, things coming up or um, past. <laughs> so anyway, it's just kind of a free for all day. So anyway, I like to say good morning to everybody. Kind of like the old magic mirror. Magic mirror, magic mirror. <laughs> good morning, everyone. I'm going to scroll through here. Hey, Heather. Good morning. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. And Bridget, good morning, Bridget. I saw some of your posts over the weekend. Uh, hey, good morning, Joanne. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're doing well. Got the kiddos home and not buried under snow. <laughs> Patricia, good morning. Hey, how are you? And Katie Ann, hi. Susan, good morning. Robin Sperry, she's got that new Facebook address. It doesn't say her husband's name. <laughs> Uh, while everybody's hopping on here, I'm going to taste a few more of these little shakes here. I'm doing this shake thing, and I totally forgot to finish before I started. I'm like, oh my gosh, excuse me while I drink. Let me scroll through here. How are we doing? Oh, we got Fran. Hey, good morning, Fran. And Amber. Happy preview. <laughs> what? I just said happy previous President's Day. Happy President's Day, yes. This is about... All presidents of the United States of America, all. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, let's see. Fatma, hey, how are you? She's in Pakistan. He or she? I think that's a female name. Lori, hey. <clears throat> a good morning, all first coffee. <laughs> that's what she has on hers. Hey, Debbie. Good morning. And Lizelle. Hello. And Katie Ann. Yeah, healthy shakes. Mm. I'm supposed to, um, I'm supposed to drink this, but I had to take something first and wait. And my problem is I should have like a little refrigerator with water and have my stuff next to me so I can take that and then let it absorb before I take this thing. And so I'm like, ah, oh. <sighs> no, I got to do my broadcast. I'm going to be drinking this on camera. <laughs> it's not bad. It tastes fine. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is Happy Family Day in Canada. Is that what it's called? Really? I didn't know that. What does is, what is Happy Family Day mean? Is it just a celebration? Just. I mean, that would be nice. A celebration of family in Canada? That's really cool. I didn't know. How did I not know that? Crystal, good morning. Oh, it's Family Day. Okay. So, yeah, Crystal's in Canada, too. Tell me about a question and answer from me. Tell me about Canada Day or Family Day. But you got to write Family Day so it's not, like, out of context because I'll be like, what? <laughs> I get distracted when the conversation continues and I'm like, oh. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, my friend Brandy jumped on. Hey, Brandy. She's at work. She's sneaking a peek. She just told me <laughs> over the weekend or last week. I'm drinking my shake. Good morning, Chris. There she is. I see her say good morning. Hey, hey, Brandy. Crystal says a day to spend with your family. <laughs> Brandy says love those baskets behind you. I actually love, love, love them. You love, love, love them? Are you going to marry them? <laughs> I, um, yeah. So these are, I don't know, in fact, if they're Pottery Barn or not. Um, I got this set. It's got um, uh, two drawers and a, a door behind it. And it's one unit, the whole thing. It's not two separate units. And then I bought it when I bought the Bedford Project table from um, the um, Pottery Barn a collection called the Bedford Collection. And it has a, I think it's Bedford. 
Anyway, it's this project table, but I did not buy it at full price. It's an expensive thing. I bought it like off Craigslist. <laughs> so, and the lady had this too, and she had like far, four bar stools. And so, anyway, I got a, I got a deal on that. So, anyway, I couldn't tell you where to get it because it's a Craigslist. <laughs> um, I put all kinds of stuff actually because these uh, hide stuff. They're really good for like if you have um, partial, partial balls, partial skeins. And um, I keep like one of them. I keep my um, my cleaning, my uh, blocking stuff in, and um, one of them is like just crafty stuff, like in general. So anyway, Bonnie says hi. Uh, hi, has anyone ever told you that you look and sound just like the Chewbacca mask lady? <laughs> um, yeah, Candace Payne, <laughs> Bonnie. Um, no one's ever told me that, but they said that like I had several people. Um, uh, send me messages, uh, and, and say that, um, uh, that that's totally something that I would do. And <laughs> it is, I saw it before, um, it hit a million or it was right about a million. And, um, I was, <laughs> cause she's kind of local ish to me. And, um, when I saw her come on, I was like, I mean, cause it, I, I caught it. Um, I think I caught it within the, like an hour or something. And I'm like, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I was like reacting, you know, and I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is something I would do. And, and I actually didn't realize how many views it had. I was just kind of like genuinely sort of following along it. And then I realized, Oh my gosh, this has a ton of views. And, um, and then it just got more and more popular. And I almost, and actually when I saw it, I clicked on her, um, her thing and I almost like hit add friend because we have a mutual friend. And, um, I wish I had connected with her because she seems pretty cool. Right. And, um, and because she's kind of local, that would have been really fun. Right. <laughs> um, but cause she's anyway, she seems like a fun chick. Right. <laughs> but, um, anyway, and she apparently, um, I found out that for a while she was accepting friend requests from people who are like friend of a friend, but then she sort of capped out on how many friends she can have. I had sent her a message that night and I was like, well, I didn't friend request you because da da da, da but we have a mutual friend or well, yeah. Did I say we did? Anyway, but of course she got probably a million messages anyway, but it would have been fun to connect with her. <laughs> yeah, um, the guy that um, I used to go to church with when I was uh, in junior high, high school um, is friends with her on Facebook, so I have no idea. Hey, Patricia, good morning. Oh, man, wouldn't that be awesome, though, y'all? Let me just detract. Wouldn't that be awesome, though, if I did meet Candace Payne and if she did start, we got, we got her like knitting or crocheting or something? Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> It'd be like, tell everybody. <laughs> Get them all sucked in. <laughs> Good morning, Carol. I see you hopped on. And Katie. Uh, okay, Katie is talking about the Friends Day. I mean, Family Day. Why do you keep saying Friends Day? We need a Friends Day. Um, family Day in Canada. It was created a few years back in the province if... Uh, oh, of uh, Ontario. Some people call it McGinty's holiday because he thought it was too long a period from New Year's to Easter. Oh, that's nice. So it's like a midway break and you're like, hey, let's have some family time. Hmm. That's kind of nice. Well, we have President's Day today, so we do get that kind of break and the kids are off of school. So they're hanging out upstairs. They, they don't want to play with me. They want to play on like a video game and a TV show and a iPad. So but they will after this. <laughs> Actually, I got to go to the post office first. So one of them is going to be my helper and I'm going to send off some of these packages y'all been patiently waiting on. And uh, so I've got a ton of yarn sitting over here to go to the post office today. I figured if I had them with me today, I wasn't really working. So I was like, I could go to the post office and justify going there. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. So Katie, thank you for telling me all about that. That is really cool history. Ada, good morning. Hi, how are you? Christy, hey, love love your raw silk sari yarn. Oh, yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? Uh, I've got some of that, and I want to turn into a tote. Yeah, it's really pretty. Um, this right, right, if you're talking about this one right here, it looks like the sari yarn. Um, I do have some raw silk um, right above me, that, that kind of bluish, or yeah, bluish. That's actually raw silk. This one's not sorry yarn, if you're thinking it is. Um, it's really cool, though. But it's multiple strands of different um, different yarns and ribbon. And um, anyway, it's all wound together. It looks really cool. Uh, anyway. <laughs> hey, Fran. She says, uh, love anything with drawers in it. Yeah, 
storage galore. Yeah, I've got lots and lots of stuff. I have lots of um, open shelves that you can't see behind me, and I have bought a ton of baskets at Michael's, by the way. Well, we're, pet now, we're now uh, a month past it. But in January, Michael's always has 50% off of their storage every year. And um, I didn't get any this year or last year, but the, the last several years, every January, I would just stock up and um, get the baskets half for a half off. <laughs> so I have a bunch of baskets and I put projects in there and then I just slide them in and slide them out, you know, when I'm ready for that project. So anyway, um, Bonnie says, that's her, I guess that's in reference to Candace. Um, Carol says, can you imagine Kristen and Candace together? It would go crazy in here. Like we would, we the, the roof would be spinning off. We would be so crazy, I'm sure. Um, it would be awesome. <laughs> Christy says, I'm confessing I covet your basket storage unit thingy. <laughs> you feel better? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy it. Now, they're small baskets. I mean, those those baskets are about as big as my face. and But they are deep. I mean, they're, well, ish. <laughs> Um, and then, the, but the other baskets I have are bigger, but that it looks nice. So yeah. And then I have like two drawers and then the storage below. What's nice about the storage below, if you ever can find one, um, Christy or anybody, anybody who loom knits, um, or saloon loom knits, um, it will fit a 28 inch long, um, uh, knitting board. So the old style or the new style. Now, the new style, you have to take it apart. You can't have the 20-peg the 20, uh, 20 extenders in there. You have to take that out. But it will fit it. Yes, there is no center uh, thing in there. So you just put it right in. It's really nice. Just saying. And I have no idea how to tell you how to find it. <laughs> but I think it was Pottery Barn. <laughs> and I have no idea how to describe it because it was total Craigslist. So, uh, Teresa Rains, good morning. And hey, yeah, Katie, yes. Amber, uh, we need to go on a shopping trip with you. <laughs> that, yeah, a crafty shopping trip. Not clothes and shoes. No, we don't need that stuff, do we? <laughs> um, Elizabeth, thank you. Yeah, good morning. No, I don't have any headaches. Oh, let me finish my thing. Okay. Okay. Mm. That was my... That was my shake. Polish that down. Isn't this ridiculous? This is an old uh, Six Flags cup, <laughs> but it's like 32 ounces, and so I just, I just fill it up. And I have 32 ounce cups, but I like this because it has this little handle, so I carry it around the house. It was nice, so I can like attach it to something, and um, and go with my yarn. So like, if I have a whole bunch of my um, projects that I'm going up and down the stairs or something, like I can hold on to that. So, isn't that funny? Little tip. If you have a Six Flags cup, the only thing is, is what sucks is you can't, um, you can't wash it in the dishwasher. <laughs> so, um, Robin says, oh, post, oh no, you're right, Robin. The post office is probably not open federal holiday. Yeah, but you know what? Those mail places are probably open. I have a little mail place over here. Probably cost me a little more, but I could definitely get it taken care of. Actually, if I do that, then they'll pack it up for me. <gasps> that would be so worth it. Okay, somebody call and see if one of those mail places are open today. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that, y'all. Oh, I'm so silly. I don't even think about that. I just think of the convenience for myself. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about other people. Oh, silly me. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, Elizabeth says, it's not family day in Quebec, Canada. I'm home from work. It's not a family day in Quebec. So it's only Ontario. Is that right? Um, I guess the different province, is that what you say? Province? They are all different. <laughs> I'm behind in my comments, y'all. I have no idea how far behind I am. My Kristen's trying, trying to catch up with y'all. On, on Q&A day, I really try and kind of go through and not miss anything. So I'm like slowly going through. So ask, start asking your questions you want me to answer later. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, okay. Province. Yeah. Is Okay. No mail. You need to show your room there. I'm so jealous. Oh gosh. You want, my room is a mess. Will it make y'all feel better? 
My room is a literal mess, like seriously. And actually my knitting stuff I'm working on right now is not in here. This is just the aftermath. So right aftermath, if you really want to see it, I don't want to show it to you. I have a bag of receipts that have to have to tabulate for tax taxes and stuff. <laughs> uh, Amber says, no, nope, no mail today. So shopping day it is. Oh, well, maybe I just need to go shopping. I need to get like, um, for our house, I need to get, um, uh, in our game room, like a couch or something for the kids to sit on in there. And like, it's kind of an awkward ish room. So I need to, I need a furniture shop, which is sometimes fun, just depending on what it is. And we were trying to do that over the weekend, but, um, of course the kids are like, Oh, but bing, 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 you know, <laughs> so it was a little hard. There is mail delivery in Canada. Uh, I mean, in Ontario, not a federal holiday. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, Christy, or I can knit or crochet a cup carrier with a flap or a button. Yeah, and I've and I've thought about that too. I've actually I've actually been trying to think of um something a special um carrier. I mean a special like remote nothing to do with my drink, but um in my um room that we watch TV in, um I have these chairs. These have this kind of awkward um uh, uh armrest with the cup, and um so I'm trying to figure out the best way to put something to put remotes in, remote controls, but kind of goes over the front and not the sides where your legs are and stuff because they're connected. And so anyway, I'm trying to figure out what to do for there. Um, aftermath. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm not that far behind. Jill says, yeah, I got coupons is burning a hole in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the craft stores are open around 9 or 10 o'clock. Uh, around here and so me starting at nine, you know means that I could still go shopping after uh, Robin says aftermath. Oh, okay, so I'm not that far behind. Okay, if y'all have any questions ask him because I'm now caught up <laughs> and um, Well, you know only two people have said they want to see the aftermath. So I'm just saying You gotta convince me because I, um, I It's 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 pretty messy I'm just saying um, <laughs> uh, Lori says, hi, I went to Joanne's yesterday with this, oh, 60% off. Ooh, you got a second Martha Loom, uh, Stuart, uh, Mar Martha Loom, <laughs> Martha Stewart Loom. Uh, and it's different from your first one. Better quality. Really? They change it? Just think I bought a generation... Okay, yeah, when it gets like past like the four lines, I can't see it, darn. I don't know what the rest of was that you said, Lori. I'm sorry. Show it, Ada says. Show it. Twice. <laughs> Did you punch it in twice? Facebook was having a problem the other day. <laughs> Show it, LOL. <laughs> I was going to say, Facebook was like posting uh, things twice, comments twice the other day. Did y'all have that problem on any Facebook Live things that you were on? Um, yeah, pretty funny. Amber, do it. Show us your room. We spent a lot of time here with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> Joanne and Carol, they want to see my mess. I'm a little stressed. <laughs> uh Robin, we talked about you, uh, all good things, all good things, at illuminating class I took uh, with my mom Saturday, the class, whoops, the class was taught by Nicole from this moment is good, really? Like, you were in the class with Nicole? Like a live class? That's really cool, aww. She's got some amazing things. Um, if you haven't ever, if you're a illuminator and you haven't seen Nicole, um, this moment is good. She's got some beautiful patterns. Um, yeah, they're really beautiful. Follow her on Instagram and yeah. So I, I love, I love looking at her stuff. Uh, Chris says sweet rolls are three for 10. Nice. Go get you some sweet rolls and then go to get a sweet roll. <laughs> Yvonne says good morning. Yes, show it. Jill says, okay, we all have a mess. Don't feel bad. Joanne says there's no stress in the mess. Turn that camera around. Okay, fine. Ah. Okay. All right. 
All right. Well, first I'll, I'll, I'll do this side because it's easier to do it this way. Okay. So <clears throat> if you've seen this, I'm going to point. So you've seen this little mannequin per thing right here, right? So it actually belongs on a pole. And <laughs> here's the pole right here. Oh, move my drink. This is the, I have two of them. Well, you can't even see the other one. I have two of them. Anyway, <clears throat> here's the, the cabinet. Oh, there's a pole. One, two. And then here's my, there's the drawers. And then inside there are giveaways and stuff. Oh, you got my boobs here. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, let me take this off of here because it's going to be easier. Okay, here we go. Oh, and then there's my, <laughs> there's my desk. So when I'm always like referring to like over here, um, that's my desk. Woo! And the mess. Ah! That is uh, things that have to be filed and that. And half of it is like kid stuff. Like, hey mom, I've got another paper for you. Hey mom, you need to sign this. Hey mom, this and this. <laughs> so um, anyway, oh and here's my... This is some nicer yarns here that are wound up in Hanks and then some other ones here. Um, over here, um, a bag of bags and then a crate with um, like my S loom, my really big looms from Cindy Wood. Um, it doesn't look that big. Um, I had sold a, a Pampered Chef years ago and they came in a crate. I don't know if they still do that. And uh, anyway, that's that big crate. That's my Apple Watch box. I don't know why I still have it there. I can't bring myself to throw the box away. Um, this thing right here is a like a half size armoire, and it's just a a big door that opens up. And then the two there's two there's a drawer here and a drawer here. And my daughter uses those two drawers for her projects. And then the top part <clears throat> uh, opens up, and then. It has a it has a shelf, and so I keep my um, because it's only one shelf. Um, I keep it up high, and so I have like notions and um, extra loom picks, like a big bowl of. And we would not believe how many loom picks I have. It's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> the um, yeah, this thing right here, um, and uh, I'm trying to hold the <laughs> hold the thing careful. That has like. Um, <clears throat> those letter block things in there. Um, but it used to be white. It was in my kid's room um, uh, when they're babies. And so I painted it. And so here's another thing that's white down here on the floor. Um, I have to paint that. That That's a from a Pottery Barn. It's a, called a Catalina, I think it's Catalina um, magazine rack. And so I was gonna paint it white and then put and put it on this wall back here. And put all the my books and things in all my reference books, my knitting and crochet books, and so this is the double doors outside the office. So this is kind of like on the angle. So this is the front office of my room, and then um, my lighting, and then this is the project table here. Um, so what it looks like on the sides is this. So like you've got yarn and notions and like drawers and all kinds of stuff. And then there's another one on the other side. And then these are my, um, like, so I've got more bins. So there's more yarn in the pink thing. And um, uh, those other two bins are full of looms. And then there's stacked, those are two shelves of black. And then they have a whole bunch of projects in all those baskets. And then there's, a whole, there's another shelf here. And then two baskets here. And there's projects all behind there. And then this is like a card table or a project table. Here, let me see if I can flip it. So this is underneath, you can't even see, but there's two more boxes of supplies back here. And then I have this table here, kind of stuck out underneath. And then this is my um, tripod. And then this reflects some warmer light back, which is not reflecting correctly right now. And then I've got my windows. So anyway, and there's my other model, <laughs> my other mannequin. So, um, yeah, um, I love this tub. I use this tub for my my um, <clears throat> for my uh, my knits when I block them. So that works really well. And then um, all my receipts. <laughs> these are all my tax receipts. 
And all these fun stitch markers. These stitch markers are amazing. Look at these. Aren't these fun? Look at these stitch markers. You know what's more fun? Matching stitch markers. <laughs> these are, okay, so these are really fun. There's a little ladybug. Isn't she cute? And then, here, let me put her away. Let me put them away. My, my little, let y'all look at my little Texas thing. I love put these away. Manning is big in Texas. <laughs> and then I've got these. I want to show them to you because this is really cool what's in here. So, yeah, I'll show you this other thing in a second. So, these are all the matching ones that I got. And then um, this one's locking. So, this a, a lady made these and I got them. And then there was like one or two locking ones in there. I think I'm using the other locking one in a project. And the other thing I want to show you is this. So, these little toggle things, I got them at, um, oh gosh, what's the name of that? Oh, there's like a new yarn place. I'll probably see them again at Fiberfest or something. Anyway, you unscrew these and they're leather. And then you can put, they're like having like a button, a removable button. So you unscrew this thing and then put these little leather caps in. And you can do real big ones or these smaller ones. And so you can like put a cowl together, you know, and not actually have to sew on a button. So it's pretty cool. So it's removable and then you can like restyle it. Yeah. Anyway, that's it. <laughs> the um ah, I'm turn around. Uh okay, I'm going back over here. Hope y'all like the tour. Nicole said oh back to Robin. Robin's talking about Nicole at um uh uh this moment is good. Nicole says she always checks your videos because she doesn't like to repeat videos. Oh really? <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I don't. Yeah, that's really cool. I've I've tried not to do that either, but then sometimes people are like, "Okay, I just want to see how you did it." So, um, man, I've got a really bad shadow thing happening. It looks weird. <laughs> my one of my lights above like went out, and so it's really bad. Um, whoops. Uh, Carol says, "Go for it." We all have aftermath. Oh yeah. Well, now you see my aftermath. You remind me of cousin, my cousin. <laughs> no judgment, Jill says. I loathe filing. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who has a bag of bags. I think everyone has a bag of bags. And in fact, that's not my only bag of bags. I mean, let's just be honest here. I have a bag of bags in lots of places. <laughs> so, just saying. <laughs> Katie, you like the French doors? Um, Ada says your room looks 95% better than mine. <laughs> My all over the sofas. <laughs> um, oh, on the other side, there's more yarn on the other side. And then, um, I have the boxes of the things that is our giveaways are down there. So <clears throat> you love the, the project table, Teresa. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's good for standing, but, um, I have a problem with my feet and I don't, I don't talk about it much, but um, it's hard. I used to do a lot of my videos standing up, and it was really fatiguing on me. And um, now I'm actually, I've got carpet. I was on um, hardwood in the other house, um, but I'm now sitting down, which is really funny. But my bones crushed together in my left foot, um, and I have like uh, arthritis, uh, tendonitis in between the bones. It's not operable, and so I can't... Um, like, anyway, it's like super fatiguing. So I can't even stand at that project table anymore. But I was like, oh, I wonder when we got in this house, I was like, I wonder if I can put this table here. And it totally worked. So yeah, Alicia, we're just yammering on about random things. So just ask a question if you have a question. <laughs> she says, what's everyone's talking to, everyone talking about? Good morning, Teresa. Fran says, that looks pretty normal to me. I'm kind of weirded out by super neat crafting areas. Yeah, I mean, I can never, I could never have this super neat. I mean, I can clean it up if someone's visiting or something and be like, this is what it looks like. <laughs> but no, no, I can't, if it's completely, but even if I cleaned it up, it would not look like what you're referring to because I can't think like that. And, and to me, that takes like, that takes a ton of time and I'm like, but I know that like if I went and lined up like all my things of like all my um 
all my, uh, God, I can't even talk like my ribbons and I put them on like a holder and like did those things. And if I did this and this, and this, they would never get back on there. That <laughs> it's just not, I just rather throw them in a bin and put that away. So like all my general crafting things are, are in like other boxes and things. And they're actually underneath the stairwell at the house. So I hope we don't have a tornado because there's a lot of crafting things under my stairwell that are, trying because that's the only other space I have for storage <laughs> uh Marie says oh you have bad wi-fi today I'm sorry I just saw my image like kind of stop for a second and start so we have um it might be me hopefully not but um it was stormy really bad last night we had thunderstorms last night and it was raining again this morning so it's kind of overcast so yeah Bridget, you don't have a bag of bags at all? <clears throat> Bridget, I think you have a bag of bags. You just don't realize that that... Do you... Okay, do you have... Well, I don't know. They're outlawed in some places. Um, I have a bunch of... <clears throat> they have plastic bags that you get at the store here. Um, and so I have a bunch of those because I reuse them. So I, I've even used them for project bags for... <laughs> for my knitting projects just to separate them. So if I have like, if I'm on a trip or something, I have separate bags. Um, I like them cause they don't take up extra mess in your big bag. So you can like separate stuff. Marie says a closet full of bags. I don't have that many bags. So yeah, but those are like heavy duty shopping bags for, um, but I use them for, um, like looms and stuff like that because they fit the loom knitting stuff versus like some of these other little project bags like for knitters and crocheters, these little tiny bags. So I need like a bigger, more sturdy bag. <clears throat> Martha, hello. Uh, let's see, just had a curiosity. What do you have in those little baskets behind the shelves? Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can show you a few. Um, like this one is actually um, tape. So I have like colorful masking tape that I've never used, um, scotch, um, expressions ha sent these to me because I entered a, um, I entered a contest and, um, they're like these, um, colorful tapes anyway. And then I have, um, some ribbons in here and some pipe cleaner Chanel sticks. And so I like these for when I like make bows and so I've got kind of randomosity of tape in here. And then, um, and then this one, this one's like a project basket. So I have, um, oh, I was working on, this is a, this is a project y'all gonna be mad because I haven't done this project yet. So this is a project. Look, I got a bag in, in the basket. But this is, um, Oh, I found my Addy. <laughs> this is my brioche on Addy, which I don't need anymore because I'm finished with it. So now I can take this off because this was just a sample. I'm rescuing some needles right now. <laughs> um, this one is increases. So I was showing increases, doing increases on the loom. But if I mix this up, half of them are on the loom and half of them are on um, needles. So like these increases I did on needles and I was trying to um, do the loom ones and um, I was looking at some of the, um, the increases that I don't use as often and I was comparing them are the ones that people have taught before on YouTube, like other loom knitters. And some of them are right, but some of them are not. And when I say they're not, I don't mean the way the designer intended them, I mean comparing them to needles. When I wanna talk about um, increases and stuff, I'm always, my goal is to get it as close to needles as possible and call it the thing that the needles does. And so, um, anyway, I, I don't wanna do a series on something until I'm absolutely positive. And the problem is, is I get distracted on my projects because I get creative and I wanna do something else and anyway. Anyway, the baskets are full of random things like that. Um, there's uh, locking stuff in one, and anyway. Um, Robin says, uh, excuse me, Robin says, apparently I live near Nicole's uh, favorite yarn, uh, local yarn shop in New Jersey, and happened to realize she was doing a class, treated, 
Oh, you treated your mom for her birthday? That's really cool, Robin. That's so cool. So she's in New Jersey? I don't even know. <laughs> Good morning, Bobby. I see you hopped on. Um, yeah, Rachel says her craft room is, um, so, is so disorganized, but you know where it all is. Yeah, I know where it all is, or most of it. I mean, I found these, and I didn't know. I mean, I knew they were with the project. I just didn't know which basket. Um, <clears throat> Nicole says, if, if this makes everyone feel better, mess is a sign of creativity. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Um, over neatness uh, messes up creativity. Absolutely, yes, Ellie. <laughs> oh, vlog, not clog. I don't think I... I missed whatever that was that you're referring to, so it's fine. Jewelfly, hey, just saw you. Um, hi, Christo. I'm in the process of getting rid of a lot of inherited stuff. Some friends will be happy. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you're getting rid of inherited, like, yarn and needles and, um, you know, tools and stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, I like gifting some of that stuff. Um, yeah, I have some inherited projects. Um, one of these baskets in here has some inherited stuff from my grandmother and I've debated uh, back and forth if I want to put them in like a shadow box um, if I want to try and finish any of them um, she has one that actually shows the process um, so she has like this finished object and then she has like one in the works it was this um, really interesting um, uh, knit um, hat, baby hat with ear flaps um, but the but inst okay and so you've seen the envelope hats that like with their where their um, you you knit them across the top you bind them across the top and so it's like a box shape not the ones that are pushed in for ears but just it's just a box shape um she did it where it's turned and so it's turned like a mohawk almost and then you put it down and then it has the ear flaps here um i'm not sure if i have that handy dandy um man if i had it handy i would just get it i'll show you know i need to show it one day I need to show her stuff one day. Would y'all like me to do that next Q&A day is show my memo stuff? Uh, Lori says, I was in the process of redoing my family room to a craft room until I fell and broke my ankle. Oh, I'm sorry, Lori. Um, Fran says, my knitting corner looks like an explosion of projects <laughs> despite my efforts. <laughs> your unused stuff is going into a drawer thing under your bed. Yeah, they're tote. Yeah, totes are great for that. Multiple totes. Because the under the bed stuff is so shallow, so you can't really put much so you have to like you know um and and those space bags are great for um yarn and stuff because you can just suck the air out and just and get as much in there as you can chris says a stormy in northern california who went from drought to drowning oh so crazy ellie says we use grocery bags for garbage bag can liners yeah i've used i use that in the small bathrooms too we just have so many of them so um elizabeth says i have one bedroom apartment so limited space oh yeah under tables and closets everywhere. Y'all, um, I've actually heard of someone taking yarn, putting it in a bag, and putting it in her toilet. Like, you open the top part, put it in the back part. Why would you do that? <laughs> That's crazy. Um, she uses, um, oh, if you have luggage um, that you don't use, like in between trips and stuff, put some yarn in there. Put some storage stuff in there. Fill them up. Yeah, fill those things up. So you've got storage. You don't have to buy anything. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, bags for kitty litter. Oh, <laughs> those small totes. You have a box of boxes for your crafting room with knitting supplies, Alicia. Just be careful in keeping too many um, cardboard boxes around because that breeds um, cockroaches. And other other things and um, and uh, spiders. Robin says, uh, "Does anyone have a source for divided bag that you can put the loom inside um, and yarn in another?" I'm trying to convince my mom to make one from scratch. Robin, perfect. Okay, I was actually um, I was actually contemplating making a pattern for that, like working with someone to design a pattern to make one. And I was thinking about making a custom Good Knit Kisses fabric. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody interested? 
I was thinking about making a custom Good Night Kisses fabric. So it would just be little small logos, but just say Good Night Kisses, you know, not about me, but about giving your family Good Night Kisses. And then you could use the fabric for liners or like a special bag. And um, that would be cool, right? So, oh. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I was talking with someone about the construction of such bag. And if it was a loom bag, oh, I'm getting lots of love. Ah! <laughs> um, I was, if it was a loom bag, it would have divided areas. I was like, oh, but we would need a liner in here. Maybe two liners. You'd have three projects. <laughs> oh, my gosh. There's lots of love. <laughs> really? Y'all would really want some? Oh my gosh! Would you want it by the yard, or would you want to get like a, a get a bag that's already made? So I was thinking, like, um, if you did liners, um, you could have. I mean, you could have liners for inside your knits, and it would be like white with like the little bitty pink logo in it, and maybe um, some other stuff. Without saying too much, I'll leave it at that. There was there's some more thought to that, so we'll see. <laughs> um, Chris says, my friend who sells 31 bags would make a fortune off of crafters. Yeah, there are other crafters. There's there's crafters in our um, our loom knitting uh, knit club that sell 31. And they, they're like, oh, we like these bags for loom knitting and this and this and this. Because those are great storage bags. Um, I've got a few that I kind of inherited from somebody else who put the word loom knitting on them. So they're actually made that way. I'm looking to see if I have one of them around. I think I think it's in the other room with the project in it. Um, <clears throat> oh, Marisa's packing to move. Yeah, you have more than you thought. Um, yeah, I did too. I, I ended up purging a lot of stuff and am frogging some projects. Um, I was looking for this other project. I just frogged. You put it on a spreadsheet with project <laughs> and location. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, Carol says shadow box for your mamas projects. Yeah. Uh, that would be good. Yes, yeah, show your Nana stuff. Yeah, in the toilet, yes. Um, uh, empty coolers for work, for storage. Yeah, yeah. Toilet yarn dyeing? No. No, I think she was putting it in like a Ziploc-y bag. Uh, not to say the brand, but you know, like a zipping storage bag. Like a couple of them. I guess it was like some really, ex I don't know why she put expensive stuff. But anyway, she sealed it and just put it in the thing. I think it was like a temporary hiding space. I don't know if the toilet worked or not, but I didn't bother asking. I just thought, ew, nasty. Please don't recommend that. <laughs> Gross. Chris says suitcase is a good idea. I guess you know you have a problem when you're trying to store stuff in a toilet. You know you've gone too far. I'm just saying. You have a problem if you're storing your yarn in a toilet. You need you need to stop. Like, stop. <laughs> Suitcase is a good idea until you have to get ready to travel. Then what do you do? You put it on the bed because you're not going to be there. <laughs> That's my answer. Chris says, yes, custom fabric. Yes, GKK fabric. Yay, smart girl. Good morning, Carol. I see you hopped on. Carol Henry. Carol Henry. Marie, yes. Uh, Robin says, cool, GKK fabric. Teresa says, make the fabric. Jill Fly says, be careful where you're... You store your yarn also. Bees can get... What? Bees can get in the container and eat the yarn. Oh my goodness. That'd be... Wow. Um, <laughs> lots of people loving on the fabric. Fabric and the bag. Pre-made. Bridget says, yeah, awesome. Yes, GKK fabric. Then I have a bag. Yeah. Can y'all sew? Uh, can you sew? I don't really sew. I mean, I, I do a little... Um, so yeah, why not both fabric and bag? Yeah, already made for loom knitting. A bag and by the yard. <laughs> Carol says, for me, bag already made. <laughs> Robin, either the bag or the pattern with uh, the kit of fabric maybe. Yeah, so what I was thinking is, um, like if we made a, fa a pattern, then it would be like instructions, like a PDF instructions. And so it would come with your purchase of the material, like you could make the make it. But but um, I've got to figure out the thing because material is like a is like a uh, a thing that I would keep inventory on, and so what I was thinking of is licensing my product 
to someone else. And so I wasn't actually handling it, but I would, I would pick somebody that I knew was reputable, who'd be able to make it, uh, or, you know, at least like if they were selling it by the yard, they could at least sell by the yard. And then if, um, then I might have another person who makes bags and then I would, um, talk to them about that. So, you know, anyway, I I'll figure this out. We'll figure it out. But it's one of those planning things that takes a while because um, I also want to make sure because um, I've had in the past where I've recommended a company and I'm like, okay, now listen, people tend to buy what I'm recommending. And so um, that's not a brag point. That's a warning point because if you're not ready to handle orders, then um, tell me now, you know, don't go, don't go out of business and say, you know, because <laughs> even if it takes a little bit to get started, that video or whatever I make to tell you about people about it, people are still watching it. And so over time, then I get people go, Hey, they went out of business. And I'm like, what? You know? <laughs> so anyway, Chris says, have you seen the new, uh, fabric bags that Erin Lane has done for Marley Bird? Adorable. Uh, you should go for it. Oh, she did some for Marley. Um, what, maybe work with Aaron, Aaron Lane? Well, I wouldn't want to do something that Marley's doing. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to take away from that. Um, Marley's her own person. Um, Joanne uh, says, I use 31 bags for my projects. Yeah, they're great bags. Um, Carol says, Janet Basket Eco Bag for... Oh, okay, thanks for the link, Carol. She's got a, a bag for looms. It's great. The bathroom is the one place I don't have yarn, Ellie says. Yeah. Some people, um, years and years ago, do you remember when those crochet projects were really popular? And I know you may still like them or still have them, but people had like toilet paper, um, toilet roll, toilet paper roll covers, um, and then like tissue box covers and things that were either crocheted or they were like, um, like plastic canvas that the yarn was wrapped around. Um, yeah, those kind of things. Let's just get because nobody really washes them enough because you really would have to wash it every day, truly. Um, Ellie says, I use our suitcases as transporting product and torsos for craft fairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, Chris, you sew. You used to teach uh, kids sewing classes. Sweet. Ellie says, you could hook up with Joann's for the fabric. Well, I have a place where I could, um, I can custom make the fabric and have it printed and buy it. Um, so yeah. Oh, Joanne says she sews. You made a sewing bag for notions and stuff. So maybe, maybe Joanne and I need to just come up with a pattern and we need to figure out how we would do that. Uh, Teresa says bag, please. <laughs> uh, Bobby says there are a printed pattern that all you do is cut it out and sew together. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if, uh, I was going to say, I wonder if you like could have a, I wonder if you could have a pattern printed on the fabric in advance and then people cut it out and so you actually are buying a pattern and on the fabric at the same time. <gasps> do people do that? Because that would be really cool. I mean, I think I've seen them some other things. I'm not sure I've seen it for a bag or things like that. That would be really cool. Um... You buy a pre-made bag. You can sew beginner level. <clears throat> Marie, wish you're near me to teach me how to sew. I, yeah, I'm not the teacher. Just te I'm not the person for that. Oh, by the way, if you live in Florida or near, um, I'd have to find out where because I can't remember. But um, Vanessa Wilson um, the, with the Crafty Gemini. If you are interested in learning how to sew, she as she's a YouTuber, does fantastic tutorials on quilting and sewing and other things. Um, she is um, opening up a sewing studio uh, for classes and I think product and stuff like that. So she's um, in the middle of doing that. They just purchased or rented, I think purchased the building and she's getting it ready and stuff. So pretty cool. Uh, anyway, that's in Florida. Uh, you can have her live and in person. Uh, Robin says, oh, okay, have fun with the play date. Robin, you're trying to make a toilet paper roll cover? Yeah, I just, uh, personally, I think they're kind of gross. Um, just because every time you flush, it actually, you don't see it, but it, 
all the microbes, organisms and stuff like pop back out into the atmosphere and it's just landing on all that stuff. And so the less you have in the bathroom to get that caught on, the cleaner it is. <laughs> I'm not a germaphobe, but there's just certain things that are more preventative. That's, if that's good, I'm realist about that. Um, Ellie says, my grandmother had those crochet things in the bathroom. Yeah. Um, Chris says, you wouldn't be taking from Marley. They designed, face, they designed Facebook, all different kinds of things. There's enough um, of us who love you both. Kristen Amidal has a custom fabric. Oh, she has an airline bag? Oh, yeah, she does, I guess. Um, yeah, maybe I could connect with her designer. Um, Okay, or if anybody wants me to do it, and then you might like reach out to Erin Lane if you know the person who does Erin Lane bags and be like, by the way, Kristen at Good Kisses is looking for a bag designer. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> um, how to gra how about a graph bag? What's a graph bag? Um, that's exactly what I mean. Pre-printed fabric would be awesome. Okay, so Bobby, that's what you were saying. Um, okay. Awesome, awesome. Light Tunisian bag, okay. Carol says, Mrs. Brown's bags, Jody knits a swatch, takes a photo of it, and has it made into a fabric, and then she makes and sells her project bags on Etsy. Oh, really? I'll have to look at that. Um... Yeah, there are few few people to sewing teaching sewing anymore. We have a studio around the corner from me, so if you are local to me, um, there they have great class. Oh wow, I can tell that, I can tell that my connection is not great. Okay, that's better. Um, it's called Suddenly Sewing. I had to think of the name. Suddenly Sewing, and it's um, it's just around the corner from me, pretty practically. Um, and they have classes. They have kid classes. They have like kid weekends, kid evenings. Um, they have them for adults. Uh, they sell sewing machines, and then um, for your sewing, I think I think that like includes some classes for those like the big purchases. Like they have some of like the big digital machines, like do all the kinds of the crazy embroidery stuff and everything. Um, and then they have like other ones, and they refurbish ones. Like you can sell your them your old machine, or they pick them up and then they redo them. Um, I took my machine into them. Um, it's a white, um, <clears throat> but it's blue. It's like a two-tone retro blue. And um, it's in the cabinet. And I was just having, it was for my grandmother. And my sister had gotten it um, when she died and then decided that she just wasn't going to use it and had never got it serviced. And so I went to go get it serviced. I had to bring the whole cabinet in. And when I went to pick it up, they were like, oh, you're retro. <laughs> so when I took a class on learning, I learned how to sew. I went and took a class from them because it had been years, you know, like at least 30 years since I had taken a class. Because my grandmother had paid for me to take a class and I make, made a pillow and some stuff like that. But um, anyway, but they kept calling me. They named me retro and they're like, okay, hey, retro, you do this. And <laughs> so it's really fun. Um, so anyway, my daughter actually has it in her room because she wants to um, sew. So I was like, you know what? We're just going to put that in your room. So it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Fran likes that idea. Pre-printed pattern on the fabric. That would be fun to try. Um, that'd be great for international people because, you know, if it's already got the, the pattern on the fabric, then you could cut it out. I'm not saying I could do that. I'm just saying that would be interesting. So that would be cool if we could do it. I have no idea what all I can do. <laughs> I like to throw ideas out there and see what... See what works, right? <laughs> Martha says, I saw a video in the past. Someone took a lot of plastic bags, cut them in strips, rolled into a ball, and knitted with it. Yeah, I've got a couple of videos on that, Martha. Mm -hmm. There's different ways that you can do it. You can cut them into, um, you can take the bag and make it into a tube and then cut it straight across and make a bunch of loops and then join the loops. Or you can cut it into a tube, fold it up, cut through, um, don't get to one end of it, but cut through all of it except for like one little side. And then you actually... And you unfold it in the part you didn't cut. You cut them in angles, and then it makes one long strip. That's the short of it. You can do that with pretty much any fabric. So if you wanted to do that with um, a fabric that's um, that's already, like, like say, say you have scraps of um, fat quarters or something, you sew those together and cut them. Um, you can take a big um, yard of fabric and then cut um, sew it into a tube and then cut it that way too, and then you would have yarn, um, like cotton yarn that way. Pretty cool. Great for rugs. Uh, Carol says, Lori, uh, 
L'Oreali Euro Sews Project bags as well. Awesome. Well, cool. Well, man, it has been so fun talking to you ladies and gentlemen today. And um, let's see, what time is it? Oh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> right on the dot, too. Uh, anyway, it has been wonderful talking to you. Um, thanks for looking at my mess and, and, uh, and thinking it's okay. <laughs> and um, I have, uh, I have enjoyed it. You guys enjoy your uh, President's Day in the United States, your family day in Canada, and we'll catch you tomorrow for Loom Knitting Day. Have a great day. Happy knitting and crochet. Bye, everyone.